Welcome everyone to another edition of WTL Wrestling Show. And as we are around about one month from our next set of live events, can you believe it? Where's the time gone? We kick off things in the month of December, on the 8th of December, by returning up to Elgin later than normal in the year. But we have got a card headlined by the merchandise, Mike Musso, taking on the Bulgarian Baker boss star, Branimir, in a tables match. The XL Luke Aldridge, the very good Mr. Ewan G. Mackey, Kev Williams, and more of your WTL favourites will be there as well. Then, December the 27th, the day after Boxing Day, officially Wrestling Day, we return to Kinghorn, like we do every December 27th for our post-Christmas spectacular. And the day after that, that's the 28th, we're going to be in Broxburn. So that's two events after Christmas you can come out and see us, because nothing happens between Christmas and New Year, so come out and watch W3L in action. Now, there has been some rumours over the past few weeks of a potential fourth event happening in the month of December. And I am finally in a position to be able to confirm that to you. So on December the 9th, WCL hits the Miners Club in Dalkeith for an event called Fight for Life. Now, all the proceeds from this event are going to go to the Samaritans, as we will help to raise awareness about mental health and the support that's available to those who suffer from it. Uh, the event is going to be dedicated to the memory of Edward Harris, who used to wrestle with WCL way back in the early days as Matt Skills and sadly had his issues with uh, mental health and it was a, a great loss to WCL when sadly we lost Edward Harris just last year. So this event will be dedicated to his memory and as I say, it's a special charity event. All the money raised is going to go to the Samaritans. So it's a very worthwhile cause. Come out and show your support for that. So it's Elgin on December the 8th, Dalkeith, December 9th for Fight for Life and then the 27th, 28th is Kinghorn and Broxburn. In the case of the Fight for Life show, no cards to be announced as of yet but I can tell you that management have decreed that every single WCL Championship will be on the line at that event. Worth going to see, right? And speaking of championships, that takes us neatly to this week's match and in particular the Wrestling Showdown Championship. Since winning it, Dickie Divers has had a vice-like grip on that title. He's done everything in his power to keep it around his waist. But this week, he's got a tough task ahead of him. He's facing the king of all evil, Bram. A man who overcame the very good Mr. Yungi Mackie just a couple of weeks ago right here on Showdown. Can Bram win his first ever title here in W3L? Or will the reign of Divers continue? Let's find out by going down to a ringside for this week's match. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe Fordyce here with you on Wrestling Showdown. In the Wrestling Showdown Championship that your referee is just about to raise aloft is going to be on the line in this match. And you'll be familiar with both of the participants. The man in the black singlet with the, the pink trim is currently refusing to give his, his legs to the referee to check for any potential foreign objects. That is of course your Wrestling Showdown Champion, Dicky Divers. The only man ever to hold the Showdown Championship. He won the tournament as the inaugural champion. And now the man being checked is a guy we saw two weeks ago right here on Showdown. Making his long awaited return to WTL. It's the king of all evil, Bram. And it has to be said, this is going to be a stern test for Divers to defend the Showdown Championship against Bram. Now Bram defeated uh, the very good Mr. Yoon G. Mackey. Uh, just two weeks ago, right here on Wrestling, it showed it in a tremendous contest. And uh, it was the result of that that made management think maybe and it's worth giving him a championship opportunity. Stuck him against Divers, who's immediately going to the floor. And Divers is uh, probably wise to be cautious, it has to be said. He saw what Bram did against Mackey. He went right in the building and I'd be uh, not surprised at all if this match ends up doing the same. If he starting the count, of course, Divers gets counted out, the title will stay with him. Five right now. Sure, but it's not really what Bram wants. Divers just dictating the pace. I mean, when you consider the experience difference between these men, I mean, Bram's got like five years over Divers, but. I mean, he's competed all over the world that you could argue a higher level, that's no disrespect to Divers. In the statement of facts of where Bram has been. So Divers being cautious. And it has to be said actually, 
if you think about it, as wait a minute, I think Brams had enough. Slides out, and the chase is on. And Divers do everything he can to keep away. He has shown some great tenacity as it pertains to uh, retaining the WCL Wrestling Showdown Championship. Uh, we've seen him use a fair means and foul to get it. Remember back at Resolution 12, not all that long ago, he finally faced off with Taylor Bride, his former tag team partner. I'm sure you know the situation, so you saw it right here on Showdown way back when. Divers turning on Bryden, left him lying. Bryden's doing everything he can to get his hands on Divers. Oh, Divers, wait a minute. Crashes at the ring, took his eyes off Bram. Jawed with the crowd, and now look at what happens. He's holding on the ropes. Riffy has to make a count of five. Bram has to break it. Oh, but Divers let go. Bram's got him now and applies a headlock. He's not letting Divers go anywhere. And Divers, if you remember Seven Deadly Sins, this Divers with a handful of Bram's hair, it's much longer right enough. Backs up in the ropes, if he has to apply the count, there's a clean break. I had no choice there. Back at Seven Deadly Sins, Bryden stormed the ring as part of the opening round battle while he and Divers immediately eliminated each other in the ball backstage. But at Resolution, as I was going to say earlier on, Divers immediately, or almost immediately, low blowed Bryden, got himself disqualified and kept the title. And we've seen him do stuff like that before. He got disqualified against Joey Legend after smashing him with a chair, thereby retaining the title. He did defeat Mike Musso by Pitfall to become the inaugural champion, but cheated. Same thing against Looking Sharp um, at the start of September, which you'd have seen right here on Showdown. And the same thing again. Bit of cheating, clean pinfall, or cleanish anyway. So Divers can get the victory, but he's. Oh, he tried to run through him, but Bram was of none of it. And this is not going the way Divers wanted. He often likes to dictate the pace, but the king of all evil is uh, dictating it now. You see he's holding on the side headlock, trying to keep Divers close so he can't run off. Just wrenching at that arm. This is uh, very difficult to pick people up, throw them around. Oh! Right in the eye! Divers won't be able to slam you with a bad arm, they can poke you in the eye, and there's no amount of training you can do that's going to toughen up your eyeballs. The Divers got on a side headlock. This is a good move for him, he wants to keep Bram down. Don't go on the floor, don't let Bram start brawling with you, because if you remember, way back in June of last year, as oh, Divers keeping control of that headlock, and Bram came into the WCL made his debut and was granted a match against the then heavy champion James Scott. They went all over the building, tables were destroyed, audio equipment was damaged, it was absolute carnage. So Bram has shown a propensity for these kind of matches, and he's competing. Like, hardcore matches, monsters, ball matches, you name it, he's done it. And what a lovely float over it in the arm drag. If you think that guy's just a brawler, think he's nothing more than Hit you with a chair and put you through tables, you're totally wrong. Look at him going. Couple of nice arm drags. Bram can wrestle with the best of them. May not always show it, but he definitely can, and divers may have been taken slightly unaware. This is the first time. Oh, divers think he pulled his hair. Clearly didn't. This is the first time these two men have ever wrestled each other. They did uh, once uh, cross pass in a battle royal. But beyond that, it's just been simply a, a first time meeting and it's happening right here when WTL Wrestling Showdown and Diver is offering his hand. So you can trust me, let's have a sporting handshake. The crowd are saying not. And Divers didn't even wait for the handshake, just straight in the midsection. Launch him in the corner. Asking who the man is and currently might be him, he's got control of Bram, wants him across again, and he comes out the corner, explodes with that clothesline and divers, goes to the apron, but Bram's got him, pulling him back up, oh wait, and divers, knew where he was, drops down, snapping Bram's neck in the top rope, and these WTL ring ropes are tight, 
Oh, huge right hand by Divers. He can strike well. He has things going his way, or so it uh, appears anyway. This is going round the building, the referee being lenient. Oh, and Bram! Bram right in the ring post. Apologies, the camera angle's not conducive with what's going on, but Divers launched him at the ring post. Bram met it with a thick smack, you heard that. And the WTL ring posts are rock solid. He may be about to get a count out victory. Divers will take that win any way he can. I detailed earlier on some of the ways he's retained that title. And fair play is still around his waist. He's still wrestling showdown champion. However, you can argue about his methodology. But a count out is every bit as good as a pinfall or a submission. The belt stays around his waist. Brown, do you think he's surfaced yet, has he? We're up at eight. I think Diver's going to win this one by count out. He's not even stirred. And he gets in. Somehow Bram rolls under the bottom rope. That's a surprise. I thought he was done for. Until the very last possible second he was on the floor. That ring post did some damage. Diver's not happy at all. Gives him just a stomp to kind of keep him down. He'll clamp to the top rope. But it's taking too long. And Bram with that right hand. Oh, Diver's going to get set for a right here. And down goes Divers and rolls to the floor. You've got to think, great strategy on his part. Bram can't follow up, can't go for a pin, can't go for a submission. Divers calling for a timeout. Maybe a case of time's up. Because he, oh, he's walking away. He's going to take this one by count out. If he gets counted out on purpose, the title will not change hands. That's just the way the rules go. Bram arguing and now telling the ref, no, let's not do it this way, let's come with me. Follow me, I'm going to get him back. Bram disappearing. Bram went backstage. Divers had gone right into changing in there. Bram went in, they started fighting round there. They fought right round the building. And now they've eventually made their way back to ringside. It looks like Divers has somehow turned the tide again. Bram has given as good as he's got uh, while going after divers. But the champion appears to be firmly in control. Divers is rehydrating. Always a good sign. Bram getting to his feet. Oh! And it didn't work out. Oh, both of them with the same idea. They close on each other. Both men go down. Referee's going to apply a 10 count. This has been a war, ladies and gentlemen. They brawled backstage and they made the way back to the ring. This match has gone either man's way at different points. Is Bram keeping up a regular schedule? He's all over the UK, all over Europe. And he's got every single fan in this building on his side. The Chesterfield Plague, he's known as. And he was hoping, I think, to win a plague there upon divers and become a new showdown champion, but it's maybe not been as easy as he was expecting. Huge forearm by Divers there, and a huge hand by Bram, and Divers retaliating, and Bram as well. Both in a rubber leg streets, if you'll pardon the cliche. Now the ropes, got that head of steam, and now firing back more punches. Divers unable to answer, but he does there with a kick. And volley of punches rattled him, but he got the boot in the midsection. This crowd want to see a title change, and we might well do. A second forearm. Divers going to have a swollen jaw in the morning, and a knee. That's going to wrap it up, surely. But Bram just biding his time, waiting. What's he got in mind? Diver swings it up, and down he goes. Folds up as well, hooks the legs, and we're going to have a new champion. But Diver's kicking out. As we all know, Bram, no stranger to championships and accomplishments. Former TNA King of the Mountain champion. He's part of TNA from April 2014 to November 2017. 
face to who's who of the teeny roster back then some huge names has to go for the brighter side of suffering divers knew what was coming oh and faked him out and hits the DDT now hooks the legs this could end it divers protesting should have been a three should have been a three but it was only a two he went for the punch, Bram Duck from Divers immediately DDT'd him. Each hand as well. Bram reversing. And Divers drops him down. That'll make you famous. Covers one, two, and Bram kicks out. How appropriate for a man that was in WWE developmental for a while that he gets uh, hit with a move. Be popular by a WWE superstar or former anyway. Divers just biding his time. Bram off the ropes and spears him. Cuts him in half with the spear. And if Bram falls up, we have, might have a brand new champion because Divers did know what was coming. Turned round and got cut in two. Oh, and he kicks him low. Divers just boots him. And the referee, he's called for the bell. The referee's called for the bell. Bram got caught with a low blow. Let's see, let's see if we can get a word as to what's happened here. Let's try and get some official decision. Well, you've just heard that Bram wins by disqualification, but Divers retains the title. I think he knew the match was going to slip away from him. I think he was thinking he was about to lose. So he did just like we've seen before. He does an illegal move, in this case a low blow, right in front of the referee. Gets disqualified, the match is over, he is still the champion. But Bram isn't quite done yet. And now he has Divers and lands the brighter side of suffering. He doesn't win the title, but he makes a statement. Bram gets the better of Dickie Divers here on Wrestling Showdown. Divers escaping with the title around his waist yet again, but Bram certainly gave him a scene to join that match, didn't he? Maybe a rematch in the offing some point in the future? Who knows? Regardless, Divers is still your Showdown champion, and on December the 9th, so very good chance he will be heading in to fight for life our special Samaritans charity event in Dalkeith with the show they built around his waist to defend it. Again, all titles from WT will be on the line at that event. So that's four events in December you can come out and see us at. December the 8th in Elgin, December the 9th in Dalkeith, and then at the end of the month, the 27th in Kinghorn, as is tradition, and the 28th in Broxburn. Come out and see us pre-Christmas and post-Christmas. I'm sure one of these events is somewhere near you even if you have to travel a bit. We travel, Elgin's nowhere near where I live, but we make the effort to go up there, so come down and see us. Four events, somewhere you can come along and see us. It's going to be awesome. Celebrate December with W3L and do so by getting your tickets from our website, w3lwrestling.com. Make sure you give us a like on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Join us over on Instagram. Subscribe to Challenge and Watching. One button click and you'll get quality stuff like Diver vs Bram every single week. And use the hashtag WTL Wrestling Show. Then. You're going to come to the show in Dalkeith. Who should be challenging for those titles? What do you think the outcome will be between Musso and the Baker and Elgin? Let us know. Get in touch and interact with W3L. Then come back here in seven days time because we have got more amazing wrestling. The heavyweight title will be on the line. So don't miss that one. Join me back here in seven days for more Wrestling Showdown.